This one, I'm just going to tell you right now, a little depressing. So KuCoin got hacked. Uh, I think we've been reporting on that, uh, you know, a couple of days ago, but it goes deeper and it's it's going to be, I think it's going to be far reaching. So Singapore based crypto exchange KuCoin suffered massive attack on 25th of September. That was two days ago, right? It's 27th today. Yes. In which the hackers, they took 150 million worth of digital assets, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. And these days, I think we're getting so jaded. We're like, ugh, another hack, no big deal. But it is a big deal. I mean, these exchanges, that's the whole reason for an exchange to actually exist, is to make sure that your funds are protected. And even if they have insurance to cover all these things, it still can tank the market, and then you lose money indirectly. So they need to be a little bit more careful with what they're doing. And uh, this is why you know decentralized exchanges are good. Or are they? And I'm going to get to that in a second. So, but it wasn't until the early hours of Sunday that the hackers started to move a large amount of ETH as well as ERC20 tokens. Shortly thereafter, Ocean Protocol notified the community members that around, Jesus, 21 million Ocean, which is worth 8.6 million, was among the stolen funds. This was followed by the platform, the AMM platform, pausing Ocean contracts. So they were able to, this decentralized organization was able to pause the ocean contracts. Interesting. I don't know if you could do that, but uh, <laughs> is it really decentralized? We'll see. This incident caused a decline of 5% over the last 24 hours and dragged the token's price to 36 cents. That's what I'm talking about. They keep going down because of all these different hacks. This should not happen. You shouldn't have to lose money because of an exchange that you trust or, P or an exchange that you don't even trust. That's their whole job is to make sure that it's actually safe. Finishing up, Suzu. I hope I said that right. The CEO of 3R Capital questioned how freely these decentralized platforms were able to pause contracts, what we just talked about. His tweet read, so it seems the time to talk about decentralizing all the things and another time to pause contracts because of a small amount of supply getting hacked. If central actors can freely pause contracts, they also could be forced to do so by regulators in their jurisdictions. That's very true. They could just come down, sure as it, you know, regulators come down and go shut it all down. Ah, uh, well, we've only got 96% uh, power. Fine, shut that part down and off you go. And then here's the bad news. So on top of all the other bad news, KuCoin hacker, hacker started leveraging the DEX platform, Uniswap, to swap from altcoins to ETH. This was revealed by Alone Gal, the chief technology officer of cybercrime firm Hudson Rock, who tweeted, KuCoin's hacker begins laundering 150 million. Wow. He started swapping his ocean for ETH via Uniswap. Pretty easy place to do that. Because you go to the other exchanges, they're like, just like how Binance did it, they shut down a hacker who was uh, transferring all the funds because they are a centralized exchange. With Uniswap, you don't have that issue. He already dragged the price down by 4% in less than an hour. It doesn't seem to be slowing down. Due to low liquidity for this token, he's going to crash it hard. Let's find out. Let's see what it is. I don't even know. Well, still at 37 cents, so not too bad, but uh, we'll see exactly how far down it goes. But um, that's awful. Finishing up, while the latest incident did not have much impact on the crypto market in general, but if the swapping continues, DEX giant Uniswap could likely come under the scanner of the regulators because essentially what's going on is they're stealing money and they're using that to essentially launder out money and get, you know, uh, cryptocurrencies. Licenses. I know it's a loose association. I shouldn't say launder, but let's call a spade a spade. Uh, people steal your money. They go someplace else. They exchange it for something else launder. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are on that. I see some problems on the horizon. I see some problems on the horizon, but there is a lot of different resolutions. And some people will actually say this is a good thing. And it's it's a mentality. I had done a post on another another hack and somebody had said, hackers are good. Hackers are good for this entire industry. And I was like, how the heck is that even possible? And they said, Something along the lines like, well, if there's no hackers, we'll never uncover all the different uh, holes in the protocol, different things that need to be shored up. So yes, you're going to lose some money now, but in the long run, it's better because you're going to be able to fix it. I see the the reasoning behind it, but that try telling that to all the people who lost the money in like the Mount Gox. You know, these days these exchanges have uh, insurance; they can they can cover it, uh, and they take the hit. But uh, I don't know; it just seems like a very odd thing. And then if you if you take that same type of mentality, same thing happens here. Well, hey, it's a bad thing, but it's going to improve the uh, exchanges for security. I got to tell you, I got to tell you uh, that it seems like there's a bunch of hacks. And it still keeps happening. So I don't know if they're going to get any better or not. I don't know what the resolution is. That's for somebody smarter than me. I'll just say that. 
Anyhow, let's leave that and go into Q of the day so let's jump in the office.